Whenever I venture out into the hinterlands for a client, I like to get some video and some information about that community, both for my clients, but also so I can pass it along to you. Today, I'll show you around Buffalo, Minnesota. It is a small city in the western exurbs of Minneapolis, and it's a great option if you like a small town feel, lake culture, that's actually a thing, and yet still want to be within about a 35 mile drive of the cities. My name is Mary Schumann and I'm a realtor here in the Twin Cities. I make videos every week to help people make decisions about where they wanna live in the Twin Cities metro area. If that's you, you should think about subscribing so you won't miss any of my very excellent content. My contact information and my free relocation guide are down below this video in the description box. If you're on a mobile device, all you need to do is tap the title of the video and that's going to pop right open for you. I love to help people that find me on YouTube. So if you have questions about living in the area, please let me know. Drop a comment or you can reach out via email, phone, or text. I ended up in Buffalo for the reason that I think a lot of people may end up out in Buffalo. My clients were interested in getting a lot of house and the prices are way more affordable out there. They were also excited about the prospect of being able to avoid the ever-present bidding wars that happen on pre-existing homes by buying new construction. Most new construction in the Twin Cities is going to be on the outer edges of the cities where buildable land is still available. When I went out there, I met the agent representing the builder and I was asking him what is drawing people to Buffalo. And his impression was that a lot of people discover it when they become priced out of homes in the Northwest suburbs like Maple Grove, when they're looking at the same size and style of home that they want. I pulled the median prices for Buffalo and the median price is 329,000 for a single family home. For comparison's sake, the median price in a northwest suburb like Maple Grove is $375,000, and for the Twin Cities region, which includes about 14 counties, it is $340,000. I dug a little deeper and I found out that right now there are only 39 homes for sale in Buffalo, but fully 30% of those are under construction or completed new builds. Prices range from the lowest end for a townhouse at $250,000 up to $1.5 million for a 120 acre horse farm with a circa 1900 farmhouse on it. If you're interested in living in a big house with lake frontage, there were a couple of these homes hovering around the million dollar plus mark, maybe like 1.2, 1.3 million, but most homes are much more reasonably priced there. So where in the heck is Buffalo? Well, get in your car and drive about 35 miles north and west of Minneapolis on Route 55 and you're gonna drive right through it. If you need to be at the airport for any reason, and you live out in Buffalo, you're gonna to need to plan for about a 50 minute drive to get to MSP Airport on the south side of the Twin Cities. Things that I found charming about Buffalo were the shops in the historic business district, which is right on the beautiful and large Buffalo Lake. The city still has their post office, the library, which is one of 30 in, a, in what they call the Great River Library District, and all their other city services are right there in the center of town. The one thing that really caught my eye because I have a thing for books and I also have a thing for coffee <laughs> was the charming and aptly named Buffalo Books and Coffee. I would definitely be a regular there if I lived out there. Unfortunately, I think that COVID may have killed the movie theater, but there are quite a few restaurants of either the chain variety or local favorites that are within the city limits, although not all of them are downtown. If you have children, 
They will attend the Buffalo Hanover Montrose schools. And when I looked on niche.com to check out the district and see the ratings on it, it looked like they are rated a solid B or B plus. The good people of Buffalo have quite a few options for grocery shopping. They can choose from Cub Foods, which is a large regional chain. They also have Walmart Supercenter, a Target, and one of the smaller local grocery stores called Coburn's Market. I always get asked this, so I like to check. I like to see if cities allow fencing and if they allow chickens. Um, fences in Buffalo, la la la, the usual. Um, you need to get a permit. You can have up to four feet in the front and six feet in the back. But when I looked at chickens, I was pretty shocked because the answer was short and sweet, but um, the combination of animals that they chose was a little odd. Buffalo stipulates that you may not have a mountain lion or chickens and they phrase it as no wild animals. I'm really confused about this and I think it might need some clarification because some places make it contingent on how large your lot size is, at least for the chickens. Um, I can't imagine them telling you you can't have chickens on a 120 acre horse farm. I'm sure they'll still say no about the mountain lion though. <laughs> Another somewhat unusual feature of Buffalo is that they have a small municipal airport. So if your hobby is flying, this would be a really nice convenience for you to have. Buffalo apparently likes to party because they have a lot of events every year, including things like an arts and crafts show, a rodeo. There's a week long Buffalo Days celebration that has marching bands, a carnival and a beer garden. You can jump in the lake if you compete in the annual Buffalo Triathlon. Although I suppose you can jump in the lake anytime you want. <laughs> there are free concerts in the park all summer and in the winter they have a kites on ice celebration. There were a lot of other events listed as well um, and I think for a small city they seem to have a lot going on and I love to see that because to me it means that there's a real sense of community there. Other things to do out that way are apple picking at one of the orchards or you can stop at Buffalo Rock Winery or the Hayes Public House and Brewery for some sips. I can't leave out the parks. Buffalo has four larger regional parks as well as 24 community parks. They have a golf course, a dog park, and a skate park. The parks offer bicycle and boat rentals so you can enjoy the paths or the water and they also have trails for fat tire bikes or snowshoeing for winter activities. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, please check out the rest of my videos in my small towns, small towns and excerpts playlist or if you're more interested in things closer into the city, I have a playlist of neighborhoods and suburbs as well. Thanks so much for watching.